Hello and welcome to the weekly Kashmir University Video Digest Quest. First, a look at the highlights. Sonzil Student Festival begins. HRDC's Research Methodology Workshop concludes. And Law School organizes debate competition. Now the details with your host, Umar Malik. Sonzil 2017, the biggest student festival of the state, kicked off at the campus. The festival that's going to last for a week will feature different events for the students from the university and affiliated colleges. Students will be able to compete in painting, music, debate, allocation, poster making and many other events. The festival was inaugurated and declared open by Vice Chancellor Professor Khurshid Iqbal Indrabi. I declare the Kashmir University Festival from 2017 on. Dean Students Welfare Professor Jian Khaki presented the welcome address. Sanzal 2017 is a mega event and is in continuation to the legacy left behind by this grand academic institution, the University of Kashmir. Participants drawn from different academic institutions of the valley and for students representing different departments of University of Kashmir are in fact more proactive to participate in different programs that stand already identified by the Department of Students' Welfare, with special reference to the debate competition, painting, hosting, quiz, and above all, the different manifestations of the cultural program that are going to be presented in almost eight days of the program that starts from the 11th of December till 18th of December itself. Vice Chancellor Professor Khurshid Iqbal Indrabi implored students to participate in such events and get identified outside the classroom. As students, when we grew up, we always used to look up to these kind of events and these kinds of events were not forthcoming because we did not have very many means of getting ourselves entertained and this was perhaps one of those where you could actually show off your talent, you show off your uh, potential your debating abilities, your other co-curricular abilities and get yourself encouraged and identified as a student because without this you may be informed but you are not necessarily intelligent. So these are the four hours where you actually make use and get yourself identified more than how you do when you appear in examination. So that is why education without these kind of events is not complete in my opinion. Dean College Development Council Professor Nilofar Khan said that university is proud to be organizing such a big event. A historical event for our university. Believe me, Sonzal is the only youth festival function, the biggest one in the JNK state. And we are proud that our university has taken lead for organizing such big events for our youth in our state. It's a great occasion to see our youth participation in activities of Sonzal. Believe me, you know, all the activities of Department of Students' Welfare are planned in such a way that they help us in our personality development. Registrar Professor Kushri Ahmed Bhatt said that Co-curricular activities are equally important for the students. Academics is important, but equally important is the co-curricular and extracurricular activities. Because personality doesn't get developed and groomed only in a classroom, and student requires also to interact with fellow students, to get exposure to other aspects of life, and this is the Sonzal or other very important activities which the DSW has been organizing here in the university provides you that very important opportunity to know your other colleagues, the other aspects of life. I hope 
you will take a due advantage of this opportunity. A musical program followed the inauguration ceremony. The following day, students participated in a debate competition on the topic, We have a democratic government, but not democratic values. A poster competition was also held. The valedictory function of the seven-day research methodology workshop for social science scholars organized by Human Resource Development Center was held in the media auditorium. Director HRDC, Professor Gul Mohammad Wani, in his inaugural address, said that Democratization of knowledge is a very important concern for all who cherish and celebrate the idea of civility, and the idea of inclusivity as far as modern society is concerned. Assistant Professor Dr. Ijaz Ahmedwani from the Department of Political Science, quoting various authors, said that social sciences are in a kind of stagnancy and that's a problem with these departments. Nicholas writes that as far as social sciences are concerned, from last hundred years, we have the same traditional departments of sociology, psychology, economics, political science, which teach the traditional way, traditional celibate or whatever you can say, the traditional way of doing that. And therefore, there is an inertia, there is a stagnation in these subjects. And there was a rebuttal to this article, which more or less accepted what Nicholas had said, but they argued, they made a further point. They said, that is not about naming. There is no problem if we have a traditional name, traditional departments like sociology, psychology, etc., etc. But what is more problematic if, is that if there is an immovability of thinking, thought. If our immovability of naming the departments leads to the immovability of thought, that's where problem lies. Dr. Shazia Manzoor, Coordinator, Department of Social Work, said that social science research in Kashmir is mostly carried out on surface level areas and there is not a proper research agenda. Social science research, particularly in Kashmir, continues to focus on the surface level issues and the research serves as an official apologia and hardly betrays any critical engagement with the new social realities. It's time for social scientists and the scholars and the teachers here to address these questions and at least formulate a new research agenda. If somebody would come at this particular point to us, particularly in the social science faculty, telling us, what is your research agenda? We don't have a common research agenda as a faculty. We'll be working on issues like in bits and parts. There would be not a kind of an agenda of a faculty where we are all leading towards. So we need to formulate a research agenda, identify possible priority areas, keeping in view that we also have lots of challenges going on which definitely have an impact on our research. Coordinator Merck, Mr. Farooq Masoodi said that technology is blurring the lines between science and social science research. Democratization does not necessarily mean that everybody can have it. It also means the technology has been democratized which ultimately 
is going to merge to blur the lines between science and social sciences, between physical existence of some tangible idea, between say physics and metaphysics. Generally I have seen in research or whenever we, all of us, whenever we start writing a paper, we start with either cliches or use words which are pivotal words which you know build up, which construct your concept, we start with the wrong premise. Director Intact, Mr. Salim Beg, said that Kashmir had a great history of scholars like Sheikh Alam. In the domain of social sciences, mainly history, it's not that Kashmir did not produce historians, we did produce historians. And in spite of very limited access to knowledge, access to even written books, they have done a great job. Ahmad Azam Dadmari to Hassan Shaikh Khoyahami and others, and none of them had history background. You must have heard the name of Asadullah Afaki. I don't know him, he is dead now. He published a book recently on Sheikh Ulalam. So Asadullah Afaki makes a statement that Sheikh Ulalam had a huge library at his disposal. So it's not that he was an illiterate gang. And mind you, what he says, why he has made this. Inference. He says he has made this inference because the terms used by Sheikh Ul Alam in his poetry, he says Molana Rumi. Now, how did he know there is a Molana Rumi in this world? Dean Research Professor Zafar Ahmed Rishi said that researchers in our society are not given their due respect. Our society does not value research. This also is an issue. You have amongst you very good people who have done exceptionally well by global standards. In past also and currently also. Now, I do not know of the social scientists, I mean, I know of many people in sciences who have done exceptionally well. I mean, look at their papers, look at their citations, look at their contribution, phenomenal. And when they walk in this retreat, nobody's superiors have looked basically for them. This is what the attitude of the society towards the researcher is. And this is not a fact in US. This is not a fact in Britain. Now, the researcher is not also oblivious to the social reality in which he is living. I mean, he is basically a he is part of this system in which he is living. The Law Society of the School of Law organized a debate competition on the topic freedom of speech should be without limitations. Former head School of Law Professor A. M. Matta, who was the chief guest on the occasion, said that events like debate competitions bring out talent of students and channelize their energy in a positive way. I could find that students had collected very good material, the basic material, and of course the events of difference of opinion were always there. And uh, I could find that the, we have a huge amount of talent amongst our students and that the students prove today. We, as a matter of fact, had a difficulty in judging them and selecting the people who would stand in the first three positions. But then with consensus it was decided that the three students who received their certificates and appreciation today did really deserve the position that they held. I would request the Faculty of Law to continue to hold such events so that you can identify the talent that you have. And this talent is not confined only to the Faculty of Law of this university, but we have this talent. It has been observed that the current talent that has come to the private colleges also does have a huge amount of talent. And what is required is to channelize that talent, give them a proper direction so that this force is used in a developmental uh, direction uh, for the welfare of not only the students but also the faculty and the society as a whole. In particular, I would like to say that this kind of training is more important for students who have opted to the profession of law. Assistant Professor at the School of Law, Dr. Shaukat Ahmed Bhatt, said that debates are important for law students to enhance their skills and help them to make better arguments. The total number of students who participated in today's debate was 60. And they were from School of Legal Studies, Central University of Kashmir. They were from Kashmir Law College. 
they were from Vitasta School of Law and Sopola College. The motive here of conducting such type of debates is about the lawyering skills of a student, how he will present in the court of law today, how he will argue the case by making presentations rather in these type of debates, he expresses himself and a sort of a fear which a student normally has in him that fear gets removed by such type of debates. Later prizes were distributed among the winning students during the ceremony. We also spoke to some of the participants. For a law student, d debates is an integral part. That is why every every time we organize such debates, it's for the development of the law student because tomorrow he has to debate, tomorrow these are the leaders, tomorrow he has to go to the parliament or the assembly, ha he has to debate on this issue because that issue is very criti critical with respect to the state of Jammu and Kashmir. The, uh, the other day we see there is a ban on the press. Today we were discussing all such aspects, uh, what are the legal aspects of, of those bans which are being done by the state government that's why we organized this debate today ji mera jo hamara jo topic tha freedom of speech and expression isse hame bahut kuch seekhne ko mila hame ye seekhne ko mila ki kya freedom of speech and expression kya hum isko limits mein rakhne chahte hain kya ye restrict hona chahiye kya ye unlimited hona chahiye kya ye absolute hona chahiye to hum conclusion pe ye pahunche ki no doubt freedom of speech and expression necessary hai but reasonable restrictions us pe impose hone chahiye taaki एक स्टेट जो है एक सोसाइटी जो है वो पीसफुली रहे सो so, हमें सबके वेव्स पता चले कि एक बंदा एक इंसान उसके क्या वेव्स है फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच एंड एक्सप्रेशन को लेके दूसरे बंदे को लेके क्या है वेव्स इन अ डेमोक्रेटिक सोसाइटी यही तो हमारा राइट right है कि डेमोक्रेटिक सोसाइटी में हमें पता चले कि डेमोक्रेसी का मतलब यही है वी द पीपल बाय द पीपल एंड ऑफ द पीपल सो हमें सबके वेव्स पता चले बिकॉज़ वी इलेक्ट द गवर्नमेंट With this, we come to the end of today's program. In case you have missed some part of the program, you can log on to emmrckashmir.com where you can watch the whole episode. Send us your suggestions at our email address, quest at emmrckashmir.com. It's important to inculcate kindness in yourself to make a mark. Mother Teresa said, kind words are short and easy to speak, but their echoes are truly endless. With these words, I take your leave. See you next week. Goodbye.